girl we are at 2k you hear me you hear me lord i know you hear my prayers be mindful you ain't gotta get a snack every time you come in pretty ass i've been on a matcha kick for some weeks now your friend is irritating the fuck out of me whenever she comes to this window i need you to answer the door but and she was like thank you although we've come to the end of the bitch bye no Thank you. You too. Hey y'all. I was just watching my video to make sure I can go ahead and make it public to make sure that everything was in there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make it public in a few minutes. Anyways, happy Monday. It's the start of a new vlog. I think this will be a start of a new moving series because well, yeah, because we haven't, we're not out of the apartment, apartment officially yet. So this will be a sort of a new, ooh, child, moving series. I think this is episode five. But anyways, but welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris. If you're new here, hey, girl, hey, girl, we are at 2K. I think we're at, is it 22? Or 2100 I don't know but we got some new subscribers girl we got a lot of new subscribers I really appreciate y'all I appreciate appreciate my returning subscribers girl I'm <laughs> so excited thank you guys for subscribing and I hope y'all stay <laughs> just stay stay for me okay because y'all know how I don't know if it's the YouTube subscribers or if it's YouTube personally or you know that take subscribers or what I don't know I see a lot of that where somebody subscribe and then next thing you know it's a lot of people unsubscribe girl I don't know I don't know if YouTube are, is um, removing the bots I don't know but thank you guys for subscribing watching liking comment and sharing um, it is Monday start of a new week start of a new work week we gonna make the best of what we got okay oh I am ash I always ash But girl, I really, I felt like I did a little 
relaxing this weekend even though I was doing stuff around the house and even though we went to the apartment to get some stuff and you know handle some stuff I still feel like I did get some sleep like I didn't I didn't have to wake up early I woke up whenever I when whenever I felt like it so it just I feel I feel much better than than a couple of weeks that I've had you know a couple couple of tired weeks that I've had since the move um we're almost done with apartment life wow <clears throat> I've been in an apartment since I was 18 and I love the apartment life I still do because you ain't got to worry about the lawn being cut you ain't got like if something breaks somebody can come and fix it and yeah but when you own your own home all the responsibility is on you so I you know we just moved in so it's like we haven't experienced that but it's like I know the time is coming I know the time is coming but we can we, we gonna make it y'all we gonna make it um yeah being out of girl I would I never thought I would see the day of me owning a home being out of apartment life girl if I wasn't with Joey it would be apartment life for real you hear me I would be in a luxury apartment I would be <laughs> yeah it would be apartment life until apartment life can exist, exist no more you hear me I yeah I would be not so much luxury living but it would be a nice apartment that I would be in um being that I would be by myself but yeah we got a home now so girl the stress is about to come <laughs> uh tremendously now you know what especially with all the responsibilities on you but anyways um god is good anyways y'all i was just introducing today's vlog welcoming my new subscribers and saying hey to my returning subscribers and yeah i'm about to clock in get this day started i'm praying that today goes well for me and for y'all <sighs> yeah one thing about this it's not a stressful hospital y'all if y'all are new here i work at a rehabilitation hospital in fort Worth, texas and if you knew where I came from, I came from another hospital like an hour, 30, 30 miles away from my home, which took me almost an hour to get there. And it was stress, stressful there because I was a team lead there. And then I had like a, a person under me, but she was older. She was contrary. She was stuck in her way. She was just all of. Yeah, it was very stressful working there and then I had to do birth certificates which got on my nerves because of, yeah I said all that to say this hospital is not a stressful hospital at all Especially with the work that I do. I do I scan in the charts. <clears throat> I go pick up the discharges. I scan in the charts I do release of information. I answer the phones um, I do auditing and it's not stressful. I think I don't got to the point where I want to work from home. I know if if you watched me over the well, I better say over the years. I ain't been on YouTube but a year and a half or so. How many years? When did I start, child? It's about a year, year and a half. But I always say I want to work from home. I want to work from home. I want to work from home. And now that I have a home. <laughs> I really want to stay in it. I ain't lying. I really just want to stay at home. I want to work from home. So I'm kind of in the I'm in the process, but I'm not in the process. You know, I've been looking. I've been having um girl, what time is it? I'm sitting here talking. Okay, it's 6:51. I mean 7:51. I need to change my time. But I've been having people reach out to me through, you know, through Indeed and through Zip Recruiter, but they're not one of it was like I think it was like two or three people. One of them was in Dallas, and I ain't driving that far, uh, and it wasn't remote. 
uh, another one was for I think it was for, for a clinic and of course it was in you know it was in house and I didn't I think it was front desk I'm like no I barely won't talk to people now so I'm I'm looking um, I'm gonna take my time and look I ain't gonna just you know jump out and you know leave this job which is closer to home to yeah so we putting that in the air in the atmosphere Lord I know you hear my prayer you hear me you hear me Lord I know you hear my prayers so one of these days I will be working from home and yeah but for right now I am enjoying the time I, that I'm ha that I have here like I said it's not stressful at all true enough I complain about it all the time I complain about the, the release of information calls but it's really it's really not that bad y'all it's really not um I'm so appreciative appreciative that the Lord found me a job here <laughs> that's closer to home. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna keep on saying closer to home. You hear me? So yeah, and the people are cool. You know, I have yeah. You know, you gonna have those type of people in every job, but yeah, I ain't complaining. I'm just, I just yeah. Anyways, y'all, I don't talk for nine minutes about nothing, and I guess I will talk to y'all. Um, Later. Can we get pictures of her feet? You got your shoes? I don't. I don't have any pictures. Yeah, we'll just sit there outside. Okay. Girl. <laughs> I just found this on YouTube. Um, I normally will watch him. This one is the Ewu body cam. I think he have he has different channels. I know he has different channels. But this one is the e Ewu body cam. E W U body cam. And I'm on break, by the way. <laughs> I just had a bowl of broccoli. I gobbled that down. I got a Celsius. Um, I know I'm be hungry later in, later on in the day. So um, the administration they have like these little healthy trail mixes. So I'm gonna go get some of those. And I don't know, maybe a beef jerky until I get home. But anyways, this one is. The name of the uh, the title is "Cop Saves Woman from Getting Eating Eating Alive." Girl, the damn dogs literally shredded this woman to pieces. I think it was like how many he said? I think he said three or four pit bulls were was on this woman. He said he got out the the truck. Girl, he said he got out the truck in this. The dogs were just eating this woman alive. Like, you literally can see parts of her. If y'all eating, I'm sorry. Pa uh, skip on past this. I am sorry. But you can literally, he said you can literally see parts of her on the ground. Like, they literally were was eating her. So you can see, like, meat and you can see, like, the bones, he said. I haven't finished it, so I don't know if the woman survived or what. But, girl... He literally had to shoot, I think it was four dogs. He said two, was it two or three on her? I don't know, but he had to shoot four dogs. He was just in shock. He, he kept talking about it uh, to, the, to, his, um, to the other uh, police officers. He was like, you can see part of her heel left on the ground. Meat was on the... Why? It's not funny, but it's like, damn, I couldn't even imagine. Ooh. Girl. It's just crazy. He had to shoot the dogs. And then, I guess in the house, there were more dogs. Um, So they had to call the, what you call them, people? The dog collector. I don't know. But they had to call them and go in with them um to see to capture some more dogs i am girl um i have like i said i haven't gotten to the end yet it's 17 minutes and it's 17 minutes long and i'm on minute 13 and i, I normally would go to the comments to see what happened or did the the person survived but I don't want to do that I want to just watch it to the end but girl 
I'll, I'll link this one below. Um, All right, y'all. We are in Big Lots. I thought I'd come in here just to see what they have. I kind of want some pillows for our um, bedroom, for our bed. <sighs> but anyways, yeah, we're in Big Lots. We are off of work. Um, and I also wanted to come in here for um, a little like a little stand for my coffee stuff our coffee stuff because right now we just have like a plastic bin and I don't like that I want like a I don't know a cute so and y'all I know earlier I was telling y'all about uh how work isn't stressful and it's okay. I mean, it isn't stressful. It's just today was one of them days where I'm like, I'm literally about to take the phone off the hook. Literally. I was over it today, child. Not only was I over it, but y'all remember in some vlogs back, I was telling y'all about this certain nurse that always come down here and she don't knock on the door. She just waves through our window. Like, I'm supposed to see her. Tell me why. She came down there three times. First time, first time, uh, I think I was just coming in and she was down there so I didn't have to let her in. The second time, she, uh, and then the first time when she, in the first time when she left, y'all know we have like a snack, uh, a little snack bin or whatever that's by our door. And I, we don't mind people getting it, you know, getting snacks or whatever. I don't care. So when she left, she got some. I seen her staring at it. And when she was walking out the door, she got her a bag of chips. So that was the first time she came in. Second time she came in, she did the same thing at the window. Like, that's how she was at the window. And I played like I ain't see her, but her friend was on the phone. So I was like, fuck. So let me go in here. I mean, let me go ahead and open the door. Girl, left the second time. Grabbed another bag of chips. Yeah. By this time, I'm like, look, you've been here three times. You don't need a bag of chips every time you leave. You don't. So that really pissed me off. Even though it ain't my snack. I mean, it's for the office and it's for people that come in and out. But it's like, girl, be mindful. You ain't got to get a snack every time you come in. Pretty ass. And then the third time, I seen her out the corner of my eye, so I kept moving forward towards my computer so she couldn't see me looking at her. And her friend was on the phone again. I was like, you know what? <laughs> Let me open this damn door. This time, I didn't say, hey girl. I didn't say nothing. I just opened the door. She was like, thank you. I'm like, and then the, the thing that gets me is she don't knock. Like people just supposed to know she's there. And it's, so, girl, it's just so annoying the way she does it. Like, she'll be at the window. Just waving, no knocking. No. Yeah, they really pissed me off. They got me so irritated today. I was like, why are you coming down here three times? Don't you supposed to be at work? And then she will stay for a long time. The stuff that she's telling her co uh, my coworker, she can call. What about your patience? Girl, I don't know if this music is drowning me out. I hope y'all can hear me. But girl, she just pissed me off. You know what I mean? But let me, um, I do need curtains for our room too, but, um, I'm probably gonna, I feel like I want to use Kiana's old curtains. She don't want those curtains. They're like a khaki color. Of course, I want the blackout curtains, but... See, like the khaki ones that she has. Oh, wait a minute. Are these the same kind? I don't know if these are the same kind or not. I 
think it'll go really, really good with um, our um, comforter set. Then like a cute little small area rug for our, um, our bedroom. Are these all the room? Pillows on sale for $12.99, but I don't see no king size. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. All the king are gone. Oh, man. Girl, they came and swapped these kings, didn't they? Okay, y'all, it is 7.41. I've been sitting at this same spot since I got home. I've been eating and I edited it. Um, yeah, I edited it for a little while. Now I'm about to um, wash these few little dishes. And call it a night. Oh, child. Yeah, and call it a night job. I'm tired. <laughs> I didn't get nothing at Big Lutz. They didn't really have too much. I was gonna stop by Ollie's. I may do that tomorrow. Yeah, I'll stop by Ollie's tomorrow. But yeah, y'all. Hey y'all, girl, <laughs> I've been on a matcha kick for some weeks now. I don't know what's going on. It's just like my body, my body is craving matcha. It's craving matcha. Three days in a row. Yesterday, I ended up having to go on the inside because I was going to be late if I go through the drive-thru because it was packed. So I went on the inside and got me some matcha. Literally made it to work. It was 7.59 when I clocked in. Because I want matcha. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know, child. But I've been craving it like crazy. You too. But yeah, girl. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and I don't even... I deleted the um, Starbucks app. I don't know why I did that. But I'm going to um, put it back on my phone. I know it's it's bad y'all it's uh -huh. it's real bad but anyways y'all it is hump day oh I got y'all on my tripod I don't know why I'm sitting y'all up like this knowing that y'all are gonna fall oh girl you come the wrong way But anyways, y'all, I didn't do too, too much of nothing yesterday. Um, I got a little irritated, of course. Um, because if y'all can recall earlier in the vlog, I was telling y'all about the nurse that comes down there with her friend for, for my co-worker. She came down, down there again yesterday, y'all. Yesterday. And this time, she came with three bags of chips 
she didn't get them from us. She must have got them from administration. But three bags of chips, one bag she was holding and eating as she was in the window going like this instead of knocking. Girl, I got so irritated. I didn't even speak to her. I opened the door like this. And she didn't say hey until she got all the way into the department. Oh, hey. I was just so, I just don't understand. I don't understand. She's a nurse from upstairs. She has patience. And then when she comes to stay, to sit and talk to her friends, she stays for a long time. So I'm like, what the hell? I don't know how it goes when it comes to rehabilitation patients or whatever. But when it comes to at a regular hospital, I know the nurses barely can leave off the floor without somebody calling their little phone that they have or paging them or something. But she comes down there and she sits for a while. And then she comes down there so many freaking times. Girl, I was so irritated. <laughs> and then the only reason why I had to uh, answer the door was because her friend stays on the phone because she's um, trying to contact all the discharge patients to make sure that they get settled at home, make sure they have everything at home and ask them how was their stay and all that stuff. So she's constantly on the phone. And every time her friend comes down there, she's on the phone. And I don't want to bring it up to her because I don't want to have no friction in the office because the co-worker, I love the co-worker. She's so funny. She's just a joy to be around. So I don't want to cause no friction because I don't want to say, hey, your friend is irritating the fuck out of me. Whenever she comes to this window, I need you to answer the door. But I don't want to do that because I don't want, like I said, she's cool. She's very cool. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know if they're related or what and then yesterday when she came down there she didn't she wasn't quiet at all i get there talking her friend was on the phone with a patient tell me why the damn nerd the phone her phone rings no i think she either she called somebody yeah she called somebody and put them on speakerphone so as soon as she called somebody and the person answered the person on, on the other end said what the hell you want all loud while the woman while my co-worker is on the phone <sighs> so, it, it's just I, I don't know why but I get irritated when she comes I just it's, yeah her face is irritating she is irritated it's just everything <sighs> we have to turn the keys to the apartment I mean, is that Saturday so we were planning on going over there Saturday morning um, and just cleaning up the apartment or whatever picking up the rest of the stuff and giving her the keys so that's what we're going to do Saturday and then we'll be officially done with apartment life. So yay. So I guess, because I was going to go, I told him I can just put the uh, vacuum cleaner in my car today. Um, and then just go over there and just clean and whatever they can pick up and get, they can just, you know, get it on Saturday but if you know Joey he lo he's, he loves family he loves to be around family he won't he loves to do family things he wants the family to do it together so he was like why don't we just all go over there <laughs> pick up some Starbucks on the way and um you know just get after it as a family that's his thing child so I can't hate on a man who loves to be with his family I can't so Okay, y'all, we are in Ollie's. Ooh, how much are they? Girl, lately I've been on my honey bunches of oat kick. These are so amazing. Let's see how much they are. 
family size is three forty nine. I think I paid like girl, this ain't no family size. I think I paid like almost six dollars at Walmart for um like a it was bigger than a family size. I don't know what what you call that, but it was almost six dollars, so Let me put these in my book just in case. But yeah, I've been on my oh, girl. Joey had bought them. Um, I used to eat them all the time, but then I stopped. But Joey bought some like a couple months ago, and I'm like, they are so good. <laughs> so, but anyways, we are in here just seeing what they have. See what kind of chips I got. I know I said I wasn't on my chip, my chips kick. <clears throat> I'm gonna go get the Quest chips from Walmart because I don't think they will sell them in here. Oh, I used to love this kind right here. So good. Oh, this big old thing is three. Four dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh, good girl, this thing is seven nine nine for this three pack. Their soap is $4.99, but they don't have the kind that I like, which is the sensitive skin type, what kind. $19.99 Slim Fast Oh girl look at this big old thing of um, beads for $14.99 oh it is huge it ain't coming off huge on camera but it is huge mm, I don't see nothing that just says you buy me buy me oh this is kind of Hey y'all. <sighs> Did I pick up the camera yesterday? I don't know, but this this vlog gonna be kind of boring because I ain't been doing nothing but sitting here talking to y'all in the car. <laughs> and I'm sure y'all get tired. I don't know. Do y'all get tired of me telling uh, telling my uh, work stories or just sitting in the car talking to y'all? Cause if y'all if y'all do, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. But anyway, it's, it is Thursday. I am sitting in front of the Domino's parking lot because 
Joey made wings yesterday and they were mm, they were so good. So he he don't think it's gonna be enough for leftovers for all of us today. So he's ordered he, he ordered pizza too, so he wanted me to pick that up too. But knowing Joey, we probably got we probably got uh um wait a minute now. Child, this parking lot. I uh -uh, let me move my car. This parking lot is so freaking small. You hear me? It's a wing stop and the Domino's right next to it in the parking lot. Probably ain't got but eight, nine parking spaces. And it's so small and congested. But anyways, like I was saying, knowing Joey, um, it's probably enough. Joey cooks with like it's 15 people in the house. <laughs> so I know we got leftovers. I do. I know we got some, but whatever. Um... But anyways, y'all, girls, uh, I was telling y'all about the nurse yesterday or day before. Whenever I talked to y'all about the nurse coming in uh, to the department, in our department, she must have got my face memo yesterday, child, or uh, today. She got my face memo today. She sure did because yesterday she came in there four times. Four. Four. And all those four times I had to answer the dough. And by the second one, my face was like. Because I noticed the second time she came in there, she had three bags of chips. Did I say that already? No, this was a, the, another day. She had three. No, she had a bag of chips. Just eating them as she was coming in. And then when I opened the door, she got all the way in there. And she was like, thank you. So I guess she must have got my face memo today because I was into my, I was actually working today. I was into my computer and then I seen somebody at the window. I was like, but I, uh, her, co my coworker was already getting up to answer the door. So I'm thinking that she didn't text her before she came because it happened twice where my coworker actually answered the door, actually knew when she was coming to the door. I was like, wow. But both times, the first time, she comes in an apartment and didn't speak. Y'all know when you come in somebody's establishment or somebody's department or somebody's room or whatever, you uh, they supposed to speak first. Girl, the did not speak, which I don't care because I wasn't going to speak to her anyways unless she spoke to me. But she, like I said, she must have got the memo on my face. She, <laughs> four times yesterday, four. And then today, like I said, she came in two times. One time, she came in for lunch. Normally, they would go to the cafeteria to eat. No, she set her ass down there for lunch. For lunch. So, yeah. Hopefully, we got this issue resolved. And she will text her, her friend before she comes in. But anyways... <laughs> Girl, I don't know what I did to this camera. <laughs> I I can't even see my face. It has like a <laughs> girl. What the hell? Hold on. All right, y'all. I don't know what that thing is. It's still on my phone. It's like you know how when your camera. Or when your phone is on the what you call that thing? When your phone is like on portrait mode, it goes a long ways, and then was on landscape. 
it goes landscape whatever it moves when you go like this but if you can turn it off if you you know hit the little lock thing but anyways that's what it's doing well not doing but that's what it's giving like it has some lines or something I don't know but it ain't gone away and I know every time I touch the camera it comes I, I'm still not an expert at this at this camera because I haven't really just messed with it messed with it like normal I just damn film on it <laughs> and that's it I don't know the extra stuff that it does maybe I just need to sit down even though I had this how long I had this camera I think I got it back in Ju June or July well Joey got it back in July or August I don't know. I haven't even had it a year yet and I still don't know <laughs> the ins and outs of it. But anyways, y'all, it is Friday. <clears throat> I'm just getting off work. I'm about to head over to the apartment because I told Joey that um, oh girl, I'm turning the heat on. That I didn't want to wake up early on my weekend off. I mean, I wanted to wake up when I wanted to wake up. I don't want to spend my time at the apartment cleaning or whatever I was going to do there on tomorrow I ain't gonna do that tomorrow tomorrow I just wanna chill well not chill we still have stuff to do at the house um yeah we just got stuff to do at the house and I don't wanna be doing all spending my damn weekend at the apartment <laughs> cause we supposed to turn the keys in Sunday so I think if we go ahead and knock it out today we'll be done with it you know but I told him he didn't have to come I can just do what I what I could like cleaning and getting like the little pieces that that's left over there i think he still has to get the lights off the balcony and we have that mirror over there um he still has his truck cover trunk his yeah his truck cover over there and the rest of that stuff i think we can just throw i think it's trash i just need to you know wipe down a little bit and um girl and yeah, earlier he said he was gonna come, but then he was like, he don't know. And then he was like, I'll just put my big girl, big boy panties on and meet you over there. So I don't know if he's already over there because he got off at, you know what? I don't even know what time he got off today. 2.30 or 4. I don't know. Did you bring that micro band? Or no? Oh, that's okay. Okay. trash from everywhere as best as I could I mean my bobby pins galore throughout the house 
I know. I be saying I be losing them. <laughs> Me and Kim are like, God, Lee, where they go? You want to pour your radio? Or you want... I seen any of that, or I could go to get a family deal from Popeyes again. Oh, Popeyes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, do you want to get it when you're on your, on the way home, then? So that then it'll be fresher. I don't man. Or you want me to wait a little while in the truck for you? No, I'm I mean, getting... I don't want to put the pressure on you to finish up this, you know, or anything. I'll get it. It's the family meal. I'll give you a coupon. Oh, you got the coupons with you? <laughs> you better. <laughs> I forgot who I'm talking to. You know, you know who your daddy is. Oh, God. Always pre prepared. Will you keep the coupons in your truck? You gosh damn right. Although we've come to the end of the bitch, bye. No, seriously, <sighs> y'all. Apartment life is over for now. I'm not gonna bash it because apartment life was my thing for so many years. How many? Since I was since I was 18. So y'all do the math. But it's finally coming to an end. Well, it's it has come to an end. We'll be turning in the keys tomorrow. Um, I did as much as I could, child. Uh, our vacuum cleaner isn't working. Well, it's not picking up nothing. I don't know if it needs to be empty. We just need to get another vacuum cleaner. That's all this point blank and period. We need another vacuum cleaner. Um, but I think that's it. I started the dishwasher just to rinse it out a little bit. I cleaned the, the uh, bathroom. I cleaned the cabinets. Well, not the cabinets. I cleaned the girl what you call it the counters I cleaned the counters and the refrigerator and that's it I ain't doing nothing else oh our little thingy does it still work <sighs> these little things come in handy it's a little night light and plus the extra plugs so let me take that put that in my purse All of this stuff we can throw. Where's the garbage bag? Yeah, we're coming tomorrow to drop the key, so I'm about to go home, take a shower, pour me a glass of wine. Joey is getting chicken. Y'all probably think we eat, eat out every day. Sometimes we do. Well, not every day, every other day. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we do. I know it's bad, but. It is what it is. It's the weekend, so I'll talk to y'all later.